Hey guys. Ignore the big piece of wood. Um, <laughs> I'm in the process of working on my craft desk. So this needs to be painted and dealt with. But I wanted to get another craft video up for you guys because it's been a while. So this is craft number three. And what you're going to need is one of these, what would you call this? Plexi? Plexiglass? Plastic? I'm not sure. But one, a clear frame. Um, they have all different sizes. I got this at the thrift store and this was the only size I could find. I paid 49 cents for this, a big whopping 49 cents. Um, I think you can get them at the dollar store too. So you're going to need one of those. Post-its of your choice. A picture. I picked this one. This is of Bo and Milo when they were puppies. And some decorative paper. So I was thinking since it's February, you know, Valentine's Day and all that, that I would use Valentine paper. This is going to be really quick and really easy. So I think these are five by sevens and I just cut them so that they would fit in here. And I was thinking you can either do, um, you know, something in the background to match your decor or you could do something like this where you, um, switch the papers up for the seasons or the holidays. So this, because these just are going to slide right in and out. So you can just change it whenever you want. It looks like I didn't cut one of them enough. Oh, we'll see. See this? I really could have sworn I cut them enough. Alright. Anyways. So you're going to take your frame. And what we're going to do is flip it over, just like that. Sorry about that glare, guys. Let me see. I don't know if that's going to make it any better. No, it's not. What about... Oh, that makes it too dark. Alright, we're going to have to deal with the glare. So, we just flipped it over. And we're going to add our paper. This is actually really cute. I found it on Pinterest which is usually where I find a lot of things. Slide the paper in. Apparently I need to cut some more off on this end. And I'm going to add this picture of Bo and Milo on this side. Hmm. I don't like that. Let's see. Oh, maybe if I do that. That might do it. Come on. Hmm. What the heck? There we go. Ah. to fit both of these in and it's giving me a hard time. Okay. So you know just mess with it till you get it the way you want it. And put this other one back in. So now you have two choices here. I need to cut this part off. You can either use this part as a dry erase board you know you can make your little daily notes or reminders or whatever so it can be used as a dry erase or you can take some decorative post-its all I could find right now were these plain ones but there's some blue in the hats. This is a blue, so I'm actually going to split it in half. And that can go right there. And there you have it. 
You got a photo posted message frame doohickey. I think that's actually really neat. I really like it. Um, I definitely think it would look cuter with the smaller frame. What I would do is just put my decorative paper in it and then I would cut my picture down to probably like that and add my post-its. So that's craft number three. I feel like it should be longer but it's just that simple. It's really cute though and I think I'm gonna search for a smaller frame probably check out the dollar store and I'm gonna make one and change it out for the seasons or the holidays and just keep it on my desk. So I think it's really cute. Thanks guys. <laughs> Alright, I hope you liked this one. I'll see you soon.